everybody welcome to sacred body studio my name is fabi welcome to day number three so let's start so lie down on your back again you can keep your legs straight if you feel comfortable or you can bend your knees bring your hands onto your tummy you can open your feet wider and relax your feet onto the side you feel the air coming in and out through the nose We're going to start again our breathing, inhale for four and exhale for four, just to keep a rhythm to our breath. So we take a deep breath to start, inhale, and exhale, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Keep going with your breath, keeping these four beats. Now we're going to bend our legs. Bring our hands under the head, one on the top of the other one. Again, if this position is not comfortable for your arms, you can always extend them just beside your shoulders, palms facing up. So we hold here, we pull the knees closer, engaging our tummy, and we try to feel more that sensation to pulling the legs towards to us by the strength of the tummy. Now we lift the head off with our hands, elbows open, we squeeze our legs and our tummy and release your head down and slowly bring your feet down without arching your back you keep it to the engagement of your tummy one more time lift your feet head off the ground curve your spine have the sensation to pull your knees towards to you from your tummy and slowly bring your feet down and bring your head down one more time inhale and exhale, lift your feet, pull them in, lift the head, engage your tummy, and kind of move the ribs towards to your hip bones. Good, everybody. Now bring your hands under the knees, rocking forward and work backward, sorry. Come into the sitting pose. Swing the legs onto the side, come onto all fours. Remember, fingers, index fingers pointing forward. Make sure that you don't keep your palms flat, that you have the sensation of kind of grip in the ground, and kind of digging your fingers onto the ground, your fingertips. So let's go to cat and cow. This time we're gonna inhale, arch in our back, and exhale, curve in your back. And let's go for three. And exhale, mobilizing our spine. Keep our tummy in. Let's go to and exhale. And just one more. And exhale. Back onto neutral. Curl the toes under. Lift the knees off the ground. And then push your bum all the way up. You can have your legs fully extended, or we're just going to go inhale, lift your heels up, slightly bend the knees, bring your heels down, keeping your legs slightly bent. Let's go for three, and down, two, and down, and just one more, and down. Release, bring your knees onto the floor, super, we're going to stay. Again, remember this, this position that we did before, that we were shoulders move forward, elbows slightly bent, push yourself up, and then we go downward dog. And we take a deep breath. Inhale, and exhale. Release your knees back onto the ground. And super. Now we're just going to move our right foot forward, whatever is your right hand, slide the left knee. And here we're just going to keep our fist onto the ground, lift the back knee, and we hold here. Inhale deep, and exhale. Again, we don't have to straight the back leg, we can keep it slightly bent. One more inhale, 
engage your tummy, exhale, bring your knee onto the ground, and slide with this foot backwards, one more time, shoulders forward, elbows bend, as far as we can go, elbows in, push yourself all fours, and we go downward dog, keep your legs bent, don't worry about flexibility, make sure that you don't have pain at the back of the leg, slowly bring your knees onto the floor, step forward, left foot, Fist onto the ground, lift the back leg, we hold here, inhale deep, and exhale, again inhale, and exhale, inhale, exhale, and just one more, good, bring your knees onto the ground, push yourself away, Back again, shoulders forward, but this time we go all the way down. One more time, the position of cobra. Open your arms beside your shoulders, then bend your elbows. Inhale and exhale. Extend the arms by lifting your chest. Engage your tummy. Inhale, bend your elbows. Let the chest and the head go down. And again, inhale. Exhale, come up. Inhale and exhale, go down. Inhale, exhale, come up. Inhale and exhale, go down. Let's go just for two more. Inhale, exhale, come up. Inhale, exhale, go down. And the last one. Inhale. Exhale, come up, inhale, and exhale down. Bring your hands close to your chest, push your body up onto all fours, curl the toes under, and downward dog. And we go, inhale, lift your heels up, exhale, bring your heels down without forcing. Let's go for three, and two, down, and just one more, and down, bring your knees back onto the ground, right hand behind your head, twist toes to the right as far as we feel comfortable, we hold for four breaths, inhale, and exhale, let's go for three, and exhale, feel nice sensation in your back too, and just one more. Now release your hand and the right hand go under the left, bring your right shoulder on the ground and just extend your left arm forward and use the left hand to don't let the weight collapse on your head. We hold for four breaths. Inhale deep. Keep your tummy in. Exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Two. And just one more. Now drag the hand closer, push your body up onto all fours, left hand behind your head, twist toes to the uh, left side, we hold for four, inhale, without forcing, remember, exhale. If you go very little, very tiny, it's okay, just concentrate on your body, that you don't put too much pressure. Stay one more deep breath, inhale, and exhale, bring your arm under the right one, left shoulder on the ground, slide the other one, and push with the hand to don't let the weight collapse in your shoulder. And we just feel nice sensation here. Let's go for four, inhale, and exhale. Let's go for three, and exhale. Let's go two, well done. And just one more. And we release, we push ourselves all the way up. Curl the toes under, downward dog. And again, inhale, heels up. Exhale, heels down. Doesn't matter if they don't reach the ground. Let's go for three, inhale. And exhale. Let's go two. And exhale. Just one more. And exhale, 
Bring your knees slowly onto the ground. Remember the puppy, hips above your knees, move your hands forward. Let the chest go down, look to the front as far as you can go without bending your elbows and resting your weight. Keep your arms straight. Let's go for four. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. Two. And just one more. Come back onto all fours and we're sitting back onto child pose. This time we bend the elbows beside, just a little bit forward, palms together, right position, and we move our hands as far as we can go. You can bring them over your head and we just hold here for four, keep pushing the weight onto your heels. Three, and let's go two. And just one more. And we come back again onto all fours. We step forward one more time with the right foot, arm on the side. And here we back again. Curl the toes under, fist on the ground, lift the back knee. We might strain more the leg. We'll try it, but without forcing. We hold for four. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three, and again, no pain. We feel tension because we're stretching, but no pain. Let's go for two. And like, try to lift your chest, just to straight your back. Now bring your knees slowly onto the ground. If it's possible to put the left hand on the ground, right arm go behind your back, lift the chest to straight your back, and we twist toes to the right side. And we hold here. For four, inhale and exhale. Let's go for three. Well done. Now force it and push with your big toe to don't let the knee open wider. Just one more and release. Super. Let's step backwards. Now let's go back to this one. Then we move our shoulders forward. You need to move the shoulders forward. Bend the elbows. Elbows touching. Oh, arms touching your ribs, push yourself all the way, all fours, and we go downward dog, as far as you can go. You can keep your heels up, or you can slowly bend your knees. Bring your knees onto the ground, step forward, left foot, fist onto the ground, or your palms, lift the right knee, we hold here for four, press with your big toe. Let's go for three, Engage your tummy, two, relax your shoulders, and just one more. Release your knee, right palm on the floor if it's possible, left hand behind. We twist towards to the left, and again, try to press with the big toe to don't let the knee open wider. As far as this hand can reach your right uh, waist. And we hold for four. If you can look towards the ceiling without forcing your neck. Let's go for three. Two. And just one more. And good. We release. We step backwards, left foot. One more time. Shoulder forward, elbows bend. And push yourself up. And all the way, downward dog. We hold here for four, extending our arms at the maximum and our legs, but without forcing, okay? Let's go for two, inhale, exhale, and just one more. Inhale, step forward, right and left, or we can walk. Bend your knees if you need it to bring your tummy close to your thighs. Inhale, straight your back. Exhale, fall forward. Bend your knees, press your feet against the ground. Inhale and exhale, roll up the spine. And always when you feel tension at the back of the legs, we bend slightly the knees, okay? We don't force shoulders, go backwards. Well done, everybody. How do you feel? Good?
fantastic now we're gonna slide the left foot backwards as much as you can go your foot can be completely pointing forward or slightly open to the side but maintain your hips facing to the front Yep. we're gonna have the hands pray position bring the front knee Leave your hands, palms just at the top of the head, and you just drop your hands behind your head. Elbows in, arching our back by stretching our tummy. We hold here for four, warrior one, and exhale. Let's go for three. Extend your back leg, keep the front knee bent. Let's go two. And just one more. Now we release hands middle of the chest, drag the leg closer, mm -hmm. remember the chair pose, take a deep breath here, inhale, exhale, now hands drop into your chest, lean forward, back straight, fall forward, we can bend the knees, let the hands drop beside your feet or your fingertips, if I have too much tension at the back of the leg, we bend the legs, let's hold here, for four, inhale, no, don't strain the legs with the chest away from your thighs. It's better to bend the knees so we can release the glutes, we can release the hips and your back. Just one more deep breath in this position. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Hands on your hips, straight your back, push the ground and we raise our torso. Good. Remember for forward bend, I know that we always want to bring the chest close to the thigh and have the legs straight. But if we don't have flexibility, it's better to bend the knees, so then we really feel that sensation or hinge, activate the hips, the glutes, and the back muscles. Let's go with the right leg. So right leg open wider, as wider as we keep our hips facing forward. Be careful that you don't go to the side, to the front. I can bring my foot closer, make sure that you are really comfy and your heels are on the floor. Hands pray position, drop your hands behind, elbows in, lift your tummy, we hold here for four, inhale, and exhale, hip bones facing forward, let's go for three, engage your tummy, remember that sensation of pulling the pubic bone towards your belly button, just one more, inhale, and exhale, release, bring your hands to the front, and drag the legs together, chair pose again, take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale, hands drop, hinge forward, back straight, all the way forward, bend, hands beside your feet or your fingertips, we hold for four, and exhale, three, two, Stretching your glutes as well. And just one more. Inhale, straighten your back. And this time we're going to bend the knees and stretch your back fully. Step back our right foot and then the left foot. Good. How you feel? Good. Fantastic. And here we're just going to sit on back, child pose. We take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale, feeling nice, releasing our back. We come back, everybody, and we're going to lie down again onto our back. Remember, we're going to release our hips because after they come more poses, they, they are going to put on the pressure. Our hips, so let's go down, hands behind your knees. We release down, bring your knees close to you. Remember the circle around, so we make that circle, okay? So this time in opposite direction, so we open the knees. And we go around. Good. Let's go for five. And four. Three. Two. And one. We change the direction. We just go five. And four. Three. Two. And one, back to center, right ankle rest onto the left thigh, bring the foot up, like legs come close to you, we hold for four, we can flex and feet our foot, our feet, sorry, to release, let's go for three, two, and just one more, release, swap the legs, 
bring them closer and we go for four three doesn't matter if the legs are far don't worry about that as far as you can go without pain and that will help you to relax and then the muscles will extend let's go for one more that's good just stretch as far as it feels good bring your knees together feet back onto the ground open your knees bring your arms backwards if no if it's not comfortable for you remember just keep them beside your shoulders let's go for four inhale on x let's go for three relax two and just one more Bring your hands under the knees, close your legs, feet flat on the ground, hands under the head, drop the knees towards to the right side. Remember, let the right leg go all the way. And if it's not comfy your arms position, you can change it. Move your face opposite direction. We hold for four. And three. Two. And just one more. Back. Drop towards the other side. Move your face opposite direction of your legs. We hold for four. And three. Two. And just one more. Back to center. And release. Extend your legs. If it's possible, bring your arms backwards. We do the same exercise. Inhale. Tense your legs. Make a fist with your hands. And exhale. Expand and relax your body on the floor. One more time. Inhale. Bring your legs together. Make a fist. And exhale. Relax. And just one more. Inhale, make a fist. Uh, and relax. Well done, everybody. Bend your legs. Bring your knees close to your tummy. Rocking forward and backwards. And come into the sitting pose. Well done. Tell me how do you feel. After, this is the third day. Remember, there are short um, videos. So then we can practice, practice. And then it's going to push us in to do more. Thank you for joining us. And namaste.